Hey everyone, this is Bales. I'm at Fantasy Labs on the player ratings page for NBA. And I just wanted to briefly show you the differences between this page, which is free, and our player models tool, which is part of our pro package. So you can see we give away a whole bunch of data here. Um, I think that our um, our free product here with all of this data and these player cards is arguably better than most people's premium stuff. Um, there's a variety of ways to sort the data. Uh, so you can look at plus minus, for example. And the rating shown on the left is a player's historic rank. So Brooke Lopez is in the 98th percentile historically in terms of plus minus um, in this going into this particular matchup. If you want to learn more about this page, just click Getting Started here, and you can watch this video of me explaining how to use it. Player models um, superficially look similar to player ratings, but we have additional data. So you can see all of the data that we have for each player in each game. We also have um, projections for NBA, uh, and we update these almost immediately based on news. So we have the most accurate and the most timely projections. Um, really, the the crux of player models, what this is built upon, is the ability to create and backtest your own daily fantasy models. So when you click build on the right, we have a whole bunch of stats that you can weight as much or as little as you would like. And when you do that and click update, the plus minus here, which is 5.56, will change. So we update, and basically it only moved up one point there. If we do something drastic, it'll change a lot. 4.88. So um, the plus minus is how players have performed relative to expectations historically. So we look at the top 5% of players in your model um, that your model has produced historically and then compare um, what we think they should have scored based on their salary uh, to what they actually did score. So it's just points above or below expectation. And as you change that, you'll be able to um, get a different uh, rating and, and more or less back test the models um, and do something that otherwise would have taken um, months or years and do it in a matter of seconds. So you immediately know if you have a good model or not. Um, so when you find a model you like, you can build lineups off of it. So we have a um, tool here that can function as a true lineup optimizer if you'd like, and it can also be a lineup builder. So if you click optimize here, um, we will show you the true optimal, uh, mathematically optimal lineup based on your um, player ratings. <clears throat> so um, sometimes this will take a little bit longer to uh, run because it's searching basically for the top lineup of all possible combinations. If you like that, you can click save and it'll go to your My Lineups page. If you don't, you can remove a player. Um, and let's say that we want to get in um, a different player. You click lock here and um, that player will be added. Anytime you click lock, a player will be added. You can remove players, lock them in, um, build lineups that way. You can see remaining salary down here. If you like it, click save. It'll go to the My Lineups page. Um, you can also generate multiple lineups at once. So um, related to that is this exposure column, which is the percentage of lineups in which you would like a particular player. So I've set some exposures here. So if we want Paul George in 40% of lineups, we do that. Um, click Generate Multiple Lineups. We'll go with 25. Uh, min salary cap, 99%. We'll make the min projected points 18. So that means that any player who's projected at fewer than 18 points won't be considered. We can do a min rating. So we'll make that, we'll make that 60 seven, which means any player below 60, uh, 67 rating in this model won't be considered. Um, a couple other filters. This will change for um, each sport. Generate lineups, and then we will give you 25 lineups just like that um, that are based around your exposures. You can see the exposures are all almost uh, perfect based on what you wanted because we locked in um, a particular player. He then... Um, moves to 100% exposure. Um, so if you like these lineups, you can click Save Lineups. If there's some you don't, you can click out of them. So whichever lineups you don't like, click out, click Save, 
those go to the My Lineups page. So it's a, an easy way to create a whole bunch of um, potentially profitable lineups, assuming you have a good model. The My Lineups page, you can see um, all the, these are all the lineups that we just created and saved. Um, your flex usage, what position is in the utility spot here for NBA. You can also see your total player exposure. So this is the exposure that we have to every player in every one of these lineups. So Brook Lopez, for example, and click on his player card, is in 56% of all of these lineups. So again, here we can remove lineups if we want. We can also enter these into FanDuel or DraftKings almost immediately with the export tool. So when you click export, you'll get a CSV file. You just upload that to the sites. Um, if you don't know how to do that, we have a couple videos that can show you how. And then you have all of these lineups that you created in seconds already um, on the site. So those are the main differences between player ratings and player models. You have extra data, the ability to create and backtest models, which is really what this page is um, is all about. The ability to create lineups off of those models. You can optimize, you can build, you can generate multiple lineups. Um, and we also have our updates here. So um, the fastest um, news and DFS analysis also on this page.